Again, it's the 15th of April 2023. Got the unknown person to my left. Morning, people. We've got Baz on the sea, looks half mast and emotionless today because it's a sad one today, folks. Uh, Mark Sheehan from the script. Yeah. Found him dead. Found him dead yesterday. 46 year old. So that was other lad from Bloody S Club 7 last week in his 40s. What's happening? But worse than that uh, unknown person. Finley Bourne. Have you heard him, Baz? No. Have you? Young lad. Young lad, well, I'll just fucking tell the non person I've heard of him. Yeah, killed by his parents, you were, on Christmas Day in 2020. And uh, his parents were Stephen Borden, 30, and Sharon Marsden, 22, and they denied it. And they've been in court in Derby, and yes, they were found guilty. They were accused of murdering him during the winter of 2020. They'd only had him back 39 days, been removed and into care by social services, and then. Uh, the Gunter family court and judge said that he could go back and live with his parents and a uh, difficult decision to make really. Uh, sadly in this case, especially for young Phil, it turned out a bit wrong decision. And uh, he did own up, uh, Stephen Borden has said he did rock Finley a bit hard if I were, were upset, I thought, yeah, a bit upset but when he got remanded, when he got remanded uh, on bail, they, they got him coppers like that, uh, Stephen Borden, and uh, he wanted to go near Rachel Marsden, but he, he was he was seen at all times to fucking scratch him. And uh, says the murder allegedly took place at their home in Holland Road, Old Whittington, Old Whittington, Chesterfield in Derbyshire. And uh, the prosecutor said the couple were and they remain in it, in it together after they jointly and systematically beat their son. They denied, they denied murder. Uh, they denied two counts of child cruelty and two charges of causing or allowing death to a child. Marsden, 22, and Borden, 30, were convicted of Finley's murder at Derby Crown Court after the jury heard they had deli del deliberately and repeatedly lied to the police. Uh, to hide their abuse from the police and social services and even their families. I'm just looking because I don't want to read all that, but I think he'd had something like this young lad, he got something like fucking 100 and odd injuries to his body and has cuts, bruises. It's 70 odd broken bones. How do you have that many and people don't know? <coughs> and even two days before they found him dead, do you believe this is not person? Social work went to see, uh, see him and. Uh, Rachel said he was asleep upstairs and slammed her in her fucking face. Uh, but at the end of the case, listen to this unknown person, the judge, Mrs Justice Tipples, uh, she choked back tears and she thanked the jury for its impressive conduct throughout proceedings and excused them from the jury service for life. And as she spoke, at least four of the jury were in tears as the defendant sat there silent, unmoving, arms folded. Not even fucking bothered, really. And sadly for Finlay, who were one of 30 children who died in England following abuse and maltreatment at home in 2020 alone. What about that fucker? These two are breaking down in tears. So, rest in peace, Finlay, old cocky. What a fucking rotten life they had and what rotten bastards they are.